So going back to the subject, is it <laughs> right or not to be able to genetically pre-make the the genetics of your baby so that it for sure does not have any issues? I mean, is it playing God? Yes. Okay, because because one of the topics that comes up is like, for example, people that are born as little people, right? Dwarfism. Uh -huh. Is that like the medical term? Dwarfism. Uh huh. Right. Apparently, they I read somewhere that they might have found the cure to that. Is that right? Yeah, I was reading. I was reading that um, they have seem to have found the cure for dwarfism. Okay, um, so it's something like this movie, except they cannot fix everything. But for now, they can fix dwarfism, right? Dwarfism. Right. 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 So then I guess the subject comes up. Okay, is dwarfs dwarfs is, is dwarfism something that needs to be fixed? Is it just the diversity? Like those are topics that are that need to be discussed. And I'm not sure if I know the answer, but I'm willing to dig in and get canceled. Because <laughs> <laughs> so like damn. So is is dwarfism enough of a disorder to to for something to get fixed I, like i don't i don't know like uh, that's that's hard to say uh, you you're definitely born with a disadvantage if you're if you are born a dwarf i guess uh just height wise just because everything is in the world is designed for people like uh, to be at a certain height i mean even even me i'm i'm 6'3 i feel like i i also have a slight disadvantage on a day-to-day -day because there, certain things are designed for people that are that are 5'10 so i'm always feeling the need to like have to like hunch over to do things that mm -hmm. are normally a person that's like 5'7 5'8 5'9 5'10 wouldn't have to do that you know do you think people like you that are 6'3 and dwarves uh well i don't know if that you know little people do you think you would have a lot better life if there were more like lord of the rings uh, movies uh game of thrones shows like Or you could be casted as like the g mountain giant or the little, you know, uh, magic dwarf, like Lord of the Rings, you know, dildo or whatever, doldo. What's it called? What's it, what are they, you know? Dildo. Bilbo. Bilbo. Bilbo, 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 Bilbo yeah. Baggins. <laughs> you know, the, the, the little yeah, guys that go. And, and this, is your, this is you reading the books, right? <laughs> <laughs> the books are better. <laughs> um the damn. books are better uh i i'd say like you'd have to then start going into like designing your your entire house based off of your your features as opposed to buying a pre-made house for a person that's a, a certain size you know? so you're saying that, that that's, those are some of the difficulties right those, that's, those are some of the hindrances and difficulties that you'd have to start doing things custom made just for you because of your size difference okay so do you think And then, I mean, you know, feel free to feel uncomfortable. Would you fix it? Do you think, <laughs> did you think it's a bad thing to be born with dwarfism to the point where you would like fix it and make it not happen ever? Um, and don't, and like, don't, don't like entangle I'm with this, no, your sexual like uh <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no uh, <laughs> like just keep it like keep it like non-sexual <laughs> uh uh non-sexually speaking <laughs> right if um is dwarfism that something something that needs to be changed or fixed or prevented from birth um damn like i i think it's more about about fitting in and like, you know, uh, back to the whole wanting the best for your child. You, you want the best for your child to, to live in the, to, to excel in the society that he lives in, you know, so the society that he lives in, um, feels that people that are taller tend to be more successful or more, or, or have better advantages at life than people who are shorter. Is it something that that is native, or that shouldn't be shouldn't exist? I I have nothing against short people, and if 
uh, as long if they are happy, I have more power to them. Um, would I personally, if I had the choice of having my child be a dwarf or be a, a giant, I'd, I'd choose giant over dwarf. Okay. And, All right, I guess to get to the bottom, like, would you ex would you exterminate them? Ex. <sighs> No, that's I'm just kidding. That's, no, that's basically, that, no, like think about it. That's basically what we're saying because if we if we can manipulate or we can say that we can eliminate dwarfism from people. I mean, you but you wouldn't do anything to the ones that are already here, right? But then the ones the, the ones that are already here are the last. They would be are, extinct. Are, they would be extinct. Right? Would we would we make dwarfisms or dwarf people extinct? I mean, I think you could. <laughs> I think you could keep like. <laughs> Do you keep them in a museum or or in a zoo? <laughs> like, <laughs> the, this is this is how we get canceled, bro. No, but you, you gotta didn't... stop doing this shit, bro. <laughs> Can I have oh some of them in captivity? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh but, my god! No, on the reels, on the reels, and, and you know this is all for fun and games, shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> No, because there's other shit. Do this. I think there's other shit that that we what already do. Sorry, uh -huh. go. What? No, sorry. Like you're like there's other shit that needs to be addressed. Like the disorder, disorder and disease wise, before dwarfism. No, well, no. What, what I'm saying is, that I think there's already. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, bro. Because I don't think it's wrong to wanna if you have the power to fix things that would make somebody's life harder than it already is but at the same time I, I i don't want people to think that i find those things to be wrong i think that people can have wonderful lives even with certain disadvantages and things but but yeah man to be honest with you i don't know what to think and this is part of like why we do this podcast to try to think right i mean mm -hmm. given the fact that we don't really think much this allows us yeah. to think and get our ideas out and actually formulate thoughts on what we think about the world. So I don't think it's wrong to not know, but I'm trying to know. Yeah, remember we have like a like an 83 IQ combined. So <laughs> <laughs> and this is and, and this is average. <laughs> like we don't oh, we could man. be lower. No, but yeah, like <laughs> because I don't know if there's already things that you do. Mm -hmm. that people already do like it's like the common thing like to detect certain things and you're like oh no yeah like you shouldn't have this kid because he has it like i'm pretty sure there's already things like that like for major diseases oh, oh i mean the, yeah there there's there's been i mean there's three different ways to 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 chart um a child before it's even born uh amniocentesis uh a karyotype and there's another one that, that escapes me right now, but all of those you can you can extract a sample of the baby and then uh, form form like a genetic sequence or code, and it could, it'll tell you more or less what what's going on with the baby beforehand. Particularly, beforehand. Mm -hmm. part, well, I mean before they're born, they they already they already made, so it, it can't be before they're made. Like it has to be, they're already in the in the womb. And then it like, tells you, like meaning right. if you were to take action, you'd be you be terminating a birth. <sighs> yes, I'm, I'm saying I, like that, that. Yeah, that would be the that would be the only option. That, that's the only action at that point in time. If you like, don't... like, like saying you need to for you to even know what's going to be what's the genetic makeup, you need to already have put it in the oven. Right. And, and then and it has to and it has to have been a certain amount of time in the oven. Okay, damn. Like at, at least three months. Oh I fuck! Think. So, and then there's one that there's one that you can't even get until six months. Damn. And there's one that's only until they're three years old, and then that's when we... <laughs> dude. Uh, um. But then, that, but, mm -hmm. but that also then that also goes into the whole. You could also do a genetic make makeup of the of the parents beforehand, before you even start having sex to see if you guys have a predisposition for any of these diseases as well. So if you if you want to if you really want to go that route, you would have to do a genetic makeup of yourself before you attempt to do your, your child. Okay. 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 Damn, that's insane. That 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 those type of things are possible. 
mm-hmm. nowadays. But let us know what you think um, in your in the comments below. I mean, 